Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use routers in your make scenarios. Adding paths with a router lets you build more versatile automations that can respond to a variety of different inputs and circumstances. With a router, you can change your automation's actions based on different user responses or have it perform different actions depending on the time of day. You can set up a router in Make or Integromat with just a few simple steps, so let's get started. First, you'll need to add a module that will act as a trigger for the scenario. Your trigger module can use any app you'd like, but in our example, we'll be using an Airtable module that searches for new records in this view. This Airtable base gathers responses from people who fill out a contact form on our website. The main field we'll be interested in is service type. There are three choices for this field, project, membership, and other. We'll use routers to send a different message for each service selection. Once the trigger module is all set, test it to retrieve some data. Now, add a router to split your scenario into two routes. Click on the Flow Control button and select Router from the menu that pops up. Click on the plus button to create two paths that your scenario can follow. To determine which path the automation will execute, you'll need to add a filter to each path. Click on the wrench icon and choose Setup Filter. We'll configure this route to run if the service type is set to Membership. Set the label to Membership and set the condition to Service Type equal to Membership. For the second route, the configuration will be almost identical, except we'll swap out membership for project. So this path will run if the user selected project. Finally, we'll add a third route that we can use as a fallback. Click on the plus button in the middle of the router and add an additional path. Click on the wrench and select setup filter. Set the label to fallback or default and check yes underneath the text that reads the fallback route. You can leave the condition blank. Your scenario will use this route if none of the other routes conditions are met. So if the user selected other or if we added a new service option without updating this automation, this fallback route will run. Finally, let's add some actions to the scenario. In the first route, we'll add a Gmail module. We'll set the email address provided in the contact form as the recipient for this message. And then we'll fill in a subject line and body text that describe the membership service option they selected. To quickly add actions to other routes, we'll just clone this module and replace the subject line and body with appropriate text. Now that our scenario is complete, it's time to test. When you're testing an automation with multiple routes, make sure to test with a variety of data that will trigger each separate route to run. First, we'll test this response with the membership service selected. Success, the scenario ran correctly and used the membership route. Now we'll test again with a project response. and everything looks good. Finally, we'll test the response that selected other. And make use the fallback route as we wanted. Now you're all set to use routers in Make and Integromat. Adding conditional routes to your scenarios will make them much more versatile and useful in real world situations. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.